What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we got four new personalization packs in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So, uh, each one of these things is $1.99, and they come with the weapon camo, three weapon reticles, and then also a calling card. So, uh, they're available today on 360, they should be out in about a month for PlayStation 3 and PC. And let's go ahead and hop into these things, because some of them are pretty cool. So, uh, first up we have the Comics Personalization Pack, and this one is a, like, it's a unique camo, but there's nothing super crazy special about it. Like, it's a bunch of red, white, and yellow all over the place, kind of abstract. It's uh, it's almost like you took the comics from the newspaper and crumpled them up and then taped them to your weapon So it's kind of a cool one, but it's not crazy uh, The three weapon reticles are uh, are what the here which is kind of like a thought bubble coming off of your red dot sight And it's kind of interesting, but also kind of pointless like it takes up a lot of screen real estate for no reason uh, Next up we've got pow which is kind of like a, a red dot with bubble letters pow around it Which is kind of cool and then finally there's kaboom which is just kind of like a bunch of nonsense thrown on the screen I don't like that one at all but uh, I don't know, you guys might. So uh, yeah, that's comics. And then also the calling card for this one is just kind of like animated flipping pages of a comic book, which is kind of cool. Now, uh, next up we've got the Paladin personalization pack. This one is my second favorite of the uh, of the group here. So uh, this is kind of like a, a subtle gold, I guess you could say. Like it's got a night theme to it. It's a dark gray, and then it's got lots of tarnished gold highlights. Like it, it, it's for somebody that wants bling but doesn't want to be like super extravagant and flashy. Like it, it's got some bling to it. Sometimes the sun will like catch it and it'll it'll glimmer in the sun, but it's not like the normal gold camo you would expect, which is kind of cool. Now, uh, the, uh, the the kind of like reticles for this weapon, I don't really like all that much. The first one here isn't bad. It actually kind of reminds me of the New Orleans Saints logo, the football team. Uh, the next one is kind of like the same theme, except it's bigger. <laughs> and then the last one is is the same thing, except it's even bigger, and it takes up even more space in your screen. And those, I just I, I found it hard to kind of locate enemies when I'm shooting at them. And then the calling card for this one. It's just kind of like a, a night in the rain with like thunder and lightning going off behind him and things like that So uh, that one's pretty cool now uh, next up We've got UK punk so all you guys over across the pond are gonna like this one you guessed it It's just a big UK flag all over your weapon <laughs> It's it's you know it looks good on all of them I really do like it I especially like it on the DSR because the DSR has that red ring around the scope Which kind of ties into the camo really really well, but to, as for the reticles for this one You've got hooligan which is kind of like this weird face character I, I don't even know how to explain that uh, then you've got safety first which is literally a safety pin I don't understand what that's supposed to mean at all and then finally you've got anarchist which is kind of like this a inside a circle logo I don't know maybe those are UK references that I'm not getting but uh, that's what we've got going on there. And then the calling card is the waving anarchist flag. I was surprised it wasn't like a, a waving UK flag or something like that. But uh, yeah, that is the UK punk personalization pack. And then finally, last but not least, this is the one that I was looking forward to the most. And it definitely does not disappoint. So we've got the afterlife personalization pack. And this one is a pulsing, moving smoking in some areas light blue camo that's amongst a sea of black like this thing pops it looks so good I think it's my favorite camo in the game at this point like it's I think it's one of the best camos of all time it looks so amazing and it looks really good in the daylight but then it looks even better once you get into like a dark area like a corner or underneath something or inside you know it just you know this thing it, it stands out and it pops so so well that light blue with the dark behind it as for the reticles uh, you've got scorcher here which you guys may kind of recognize this symbol from zombies then you've got arcane which is a weird you know group of lines it kind of reminds me uh, of the, uh, the the unknown Pokemon, if you guys remember those. But uh, yeah, that one's not my favorite. And then finally, you've got Conjure, which is this weird witchcraft triangle, which is another one of those that kind of takes up a little bit too much real estate on my screen for my taste. But uh, yeah, it's a freaking sweet camo. It's absolutely amazing. And then finally, the calling card for this personalization pack is a very intimidating looking zombie outside of a prison so uh, yeah there you guys have it those are the four new personalization packs in black ops 2 comics paladin uk punk and afterlife they're a dollar 99 a piece each comes with the camo three reticles and a calling card and afterlife is by far the most badass one so i uh, thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it you guys will probably see some more black ops 2 on this channel soon i'm going to continue the uh, the wager match series we're going to do some other stuff so uh, that should be fun let me know which personalization pack you like the best out of these four and i'll catch you guys later check out the other two videos screen. seen yet thanks for watching guys peace out